Coach B here. Let's do something wild. Look inside a child's brain. And it turns out there are two very different kinds of minds. We're in class. Here's the dear teacher. And she starts to lecture, lecture, lecture. That initiates the wandering mind. Not the learning mind, the wandering mind. So she's talking, and the child hears, and the hearing center of the brain is active, but then the kid gets a little fidgety in the motor cortex, the part of the brain that controls physical movement pops on. But what was that? A bird flew by the window. Visual cortex gets activated. Our dear student sneaks and talks a little bit to a neighbor until the teacher gives, gives him the eyeball. The kid begins to think and reason in the prefrontal cortex, how could I get out of this? What time is lunch? Because what's happening is the emotions, the limbic system is cranking away, and the mind wanders round and round and round. Now, Brain scientists tell us this state is not unusual. It's typical, not just for kids, but for everybody. Your mind wanders. It has task unrelated thoughts. Boom, 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 boom. Now, you know that you've got more than one wandering mind in class. Take this image and imagine you've got 20 of them. But as I said, there is a different kind of mind. We will call it, mm, oh, wait a second. What if the children all have video games? That's game mind. What happens in game mind? Something very different than wandering mind. Boom, every part of the brain is active seeing and hearing and thinking and feeling. And no room left over for disruptive activity. No kid is disruptive when they're playing a video game. But what if there was a game we could play in class that shifted kids from wandering mind, normal, typical mental state, to game mind, where the whole brain was active, and when the whole brain's active, that's when it's learning at its peak. Gosh, that would be something if, if there was such a game. Hmm, I wonder what it could be.